Hi, welcome back to my northern farm. Today I'm making pizza again. I like pizza, but I just keep on trying to do different versions of it, making it healthier. And uh, I'm trying to cut out uh, gluten, carbs, sugars, because I have diabetes, trying to get my blood sugar back under control. My arms are killing me all the time, my shoulders, so they're probably inflamed. So they say sugar and uh, carbs and gluten all cause uh, inflammation in your muscles and stuff. So I'm trying to cut most of that out. It's more of an experiment right now to see if it works. So I got this idea from, uh, I made some keto bread the other day with eggs, tahini, and bacon soda. So that made me think about, I had a uh, squash flour that I made about three months ago, maybe four months ago. And um, so instead of tahini, and tahini is uh, sesame seed paste. So in this recipe, instead of tahini, I will be adding but that squash flour. So, and I made one pizza already earlier just for a tester. Now I'm making one for my wife for her lunch. This is what I'll need. So this is the ingredients. Squash flour, which is butternut and another type of squash that I can't remember right now. Three eggs, baking soda. So I'm gonna start mixing. Add the quarter teaspoon of baking soda. Mix it in a little bit. Squash flour. This you really gotta bend because it's, now it's rehydrating as I'm doing this too, so that helps make it thick. You can really smell the squash. So I'm preheating the oven to 350. Gonna let that sit for a minute. Let it hydrate the squash flour so it'll actually make it thicker. It's been about a minute, maybe a little longer. As you can see, it's actually getting thicker as it hydrated a bit. I want it to get a little bit thicker just so not so runny when I pour it onto the pan. And the pan I'm using is just a cheesecake pan. I just don't have the sides on it. it seemed to work good for the pizza I made already. So just in this crust, that's a quarter cup of squash flour, three eggs, quarter teaspoon of baking soda. So the calories is going to be 230 calories, six carbs, and about 20 grams of protein. And then whatever you decide to add on to it, add that in. So now I'm going to pour it on the pan. And there's uh, quite a few uh, vitamins in the uh, squash flour. So this is mainly butternut squash. And one other squash I can't remember. So it makes it a little bit healthier. So now I'm just spreading it out a bit. So the good thing is, if you think that's too many calories or too many carbs, you don't have to eat the whole pizza. You can just eat uh, half. I'll actually give you a measurement 
for what it is roughly. So it's about nine inch pizza. So now I'm gonna stick that in the oven, have the oven preheated to 350. So I use a spatula and I just kind of pat it down the middle a little bit because it's rising too thick. Just because that's where I'm putting all the ingredients anyways. So it's just about ready to come out, probably another five minutes. Put the toppings on. So the crust is pre-cooked. This is what it looks like. It's already a little bit brown on the bottom. So I'm gonna put the toppings on and throw it back in the oven. So pizza sauce, cheese, red peppers, and olives. My wife's pretty much uh, vegetarian, so I'm gonna get this into the oven now. So, the nice thing with this crust, I just slide it right on the rack and stick it in. Here's Jackie's pizza. Brown, crispy. You can hold it. Just hopefully she'll eat it because there's eggs in it. Here's mine. Bacon, pepperoni, olives. Tastes good. So it's a low carb crust. You just gotta count whatever you put on it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.